The following is a paid commercial announcement. The view of the following program does not necessarily reflect those of the staff, management, or sponsors of News Radio 1180 WHAM. Now on 50,000 Watt News Radio 1180 WHAM, this is Ask the Experts. Grab a line now at 222 1180. Star 1180, a free call for Verizon Wireless subscribers, or the One Communications line at 1-800-295-1180. Now live from the WHAM studios in downtown Rochester, it's Ask the Experts. Good evening and welcome to Ask the Experts here on News Radio 1180, WHAM. Brendan O'Riordan in studio with you on this Sunday evening. Actually, this is Simply Green Radio, brought to you by Simply Green Energy and Mr. Ruder Plumbing. That is the name of the program for the next 10 weeks, and we are uh, excited to have here in studio tonight several folks that are going to be talking to you about a number of different topics uh, for the next two and a half months or so, and let's get right into it. I want to welcome in studio Maurice Aubrey. Mo is the project manager at Simply Green Energy, and it's a pleasure to have you here in studio. Also joining him is Pete Marisi, True Story Pete. Pete is the uh, is also with Simply Green Energy, the project manager who runs the Green Division for Mr. Ruder Plumbing. And also joining us in studio tonight is Brenna Hartman. Uh, you've heard Brenna on WHAM before. Uh, Brenna, I remember you during your days, obviously, as a, as a fixie chick on the Home Repair Clinic. So uh, a pleasure to have all three of you here in studio. Pleasure to be here. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited as well. I'm excited because uh, you know we were we were kind of game planning here before the show started, and it was uh, great to hear all the things that uh, we're going to be talking about tonight. And uh, joining us later in the program will be uh, two folks from uh, from Pace Energy Solution and Services, uh, Brian Ludwig and Bill Colby, and they're going to be talking about uh, home energy audits. But uh, just to kind of enlighten our listeners as to what we're doing here, as I did mention, you know you're going to be on the air here for ten weeks. Uh, we're talking about a lot of things. Uh, Pete, that you mentioned that are that are, are are new. Really, this is new to a lot of people. So, uh, I don't want to say it's going to be confusing to folks, but it's going to be interesting to learn some of the new technologies that we're talking about here. Because I can leave this uh, really to all three of you. You know, we're going to be talking about things, renewable energies, solar, wind, power, uh, a lot of different things. So, I guess I'll I'll leave it up to um, the three of you really to just start us off. Hey, absolutely, Brennan. No, I'm- you know, I like to just mention while I can because Pete sometimes can get a little bit long-winded. Don't start, well, um, Don't get started. You know, but uh, I'm sure he's going to have a lot of good things to bring to the table. Um, but it's certainly also um, exciting to have uh, Brenna Hartman here because um, she also has a lot of good things to uh, bring to the table with us. And I know she really was going off on some statistics earlier, and I'm sure she'll be glad to bring those to, to the table in a minute. Um but, yeah, we are definitely looking forward to the next 10 weeks and uh, being able to enlighten and, uh, and hopefully educate uh, some of the listeners um, that had some questions about the sustainable and renewable energies. So that's what we're here to do, and hopefully we'll have a lot of uh, input from uh, listeners as well. Yeah, so, um, I think I think it's a really exciting time. I mean, I mean, I think the market's ready for it. Uh, look at the Middle East. You see what's going on in the Middle uh, East? Yeah. You're going to push the cost of gasoline up. If you don't think the cost of utilities are going up, you're nuts. Yeah. You're nuts. Hang uh, on. Uh, the, the, the brand new products that are coming out of Europe right now, these people have been paying high gas prices for years. And, and years. And, and, and there's great products coming out. Uh, there's a lot of excitement coming out. Contractors are on board. The government's pouring a ton of money into it. And I'll tell you, I, it is hard for me to find a place to put money where I can get as great a return. <laughs> I got a place um, where you <laughs> put money. <laughs> well, the return on investment is <laughs> right. definitely a That's major a player yeah. in this. But if, yeah. if you want to get right down to the primary cause of global warming, which is a lot to do with why we operate and do these kinds of practices and develop these kinds of technologies is to actually reduce our carbon footprint, which means to reduce the amount of carbon dioxide that we're emitting into the atmosphere. Uh, one interesting t- statistic we talked about earlier, excuse me. Here they come. Um, <laughs> feel free to make Duck. fun of me right off the bat. The, um, the typical American household generates 55,000 pounds of carbon dioxide annually. And you mentioned products coming out of Europe, mm-hmm, Pete. Mm-hmm. Let me just tell you, by contrast, uh, the typical German household contributes only 27,000 pounds. That's a huge difference. If, if you look at Sweden, you're looking at 15,000 pounds. I mean, very, very low carbon emissions there. So what are you trying to tell us? Well, 
It, it, I'm trying to tell you, Americans, <laughs> it's, it's we us. Have a, we have a long way to go. American households yes. are a major part of the problem. Are you saying it's our lifestyle? Lifestyle combined with not implementing the technologies that they are mm-hmm. implementing there. We've so. talked about before, we're, we're into with Simply Green Energy Systems that you guys are running over there. We're talking right. about photovoltaic, solar power, and all that kind right. of thing. You know, almost every German household runs on solar and earns money by not metering back to the utility. Every, almost every single one. I mean, well, we're talking about here, we're barely even understanding how it works, hmm. let alone implementing those technologies. So, yeah. huge comparison, and right. a huge and reason why we're bringing this show to right. the Rochester area and to the community, of course, to the world, because anybody can listen online, right, Brenda? That's right, wham1180.com. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but it's important to teach people about these technologies and how they work, and I'm so proud to be working with you guys, because you're on the pioneering stage of geothermal technologies and stuff I'm just learning about as well. Well, thank you, and uh, you're right, uh, Brenna. It's, um, it is pretty much in its uh, infancy, at least in our country, it's definitely not in its infancy throughout the rest of the world. And it's time that, uh, you know, we be the forefront runners here and, and uh, bring us up to speed and bring all of our listeners hopefully up to speed and be able to, uh, you know, the goal really here is to get everybody to a net zero energy. I mean, what a beautiful world that would be. Huh? Net zero. But, I mean, you know, it's... Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll tell you exactly. one of the exciting things. I, I don't mean to cut you off. <clears throat> one of the exciting things I learned is how this is all tying into the real estate market. There's actually a rating system out there uh, by uh, ResNet, which is uh, uh, one of the, the mm-hmm. leading institutions uh, on how the procedures and protocols work for testing. Mm-hmm. And you're going to see houses where you walk into a brand new house and there's going to be a sticker inside the house, just like miles per gallon on a car. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and this house might be rated a hundred and this house might be rated 60 and this house may be rated 50. And the lower the number, the more you approach zero, the less energy you use. That was so, my idea. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You see that? Well, we heard the idea and we sent it in. And I, I know Pete stole it from and, you. And, and I did get my $6. <laughs> but, but think about it. Think about it. You're, you're looking at two homes. Okay, mm-hmm. and, and basically they're the same house. Yeah. Okay, in a similar location, same bathrooms and everything. Here's a house that operates at five hundred a month mm-hmm. because of that number, and here's a house that's half of that. Which one is going to be more desirable? Right. Sure. Right. And it's interesting you bring that up <clears throat> today for this show when we're talking about the right. BPI, the Building Performance Institute. We mm-hmm. got the guys coming on from Pace Energy. They're going to talk to us all about the home energy yeah. audit, which is really what we've all agreed right. upon. That's where right. it starts. You're ta- you have to talk about air sealing, insulation. There's a lot of basic things in a home. The building is an envelope. This is all stuff we're going to be getting into today. Yep. And. Yep. Exciting! What are we giving away, Brendan? We are giving away a seven hundred dollar home energy audit. Uh, did I get that right? You are on your toes. Seven hundred dollar hey, home for that, energy audit. Hold it! I hope you didn't talk. Oh, you paid this that? one, Pete. Come <laughs> on now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Here Just we go. Just kidding. <laughs> and uh, again, that'll be from the folks from uh, well, the, their building performance specialist again, Brian Ludwig, and also Bill Colby with. Uh, with Pace Energy Solution and Services. So uh, we're looking forward to that as well. And want to remind listeners that, uh, you know, you want to pick up the phone, talk to either uh, Mo, Pete, or or Brenna, you can do so, 222-1180. Again, that number, 222-1180. And now we were mentioning this, uh, you know, prior to the show, you know, to, to get uh, the listeners, because uh, let's face it, as, as we were talking about, this is all new technology, and, and you want the listener, obviously, to be able to understand it. So, uh, you know, hopefully they'll have some good questions that, that, that can come to us, the, well, yourselves, the experts, not myself. <laughs> but, uh, you know, what, I guess what would you like to hear maybe from the listeners or what would you like listeners to take away from the 10 weeks that you'll be on our, our airwaves? Go Pete. I, yeah. I, I think what that I was would a like. curveball, sorry. Well, yeah. no, 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 and it's a fair question. It's a fair, in other words, what are the goals of the show? Sure, sure. The goals of the show, I, I would think are that we leave uh, at least our local area, our listening audience, with a basic understanding of where we are in the technology, what's available, uh, what, what is some of the help that's out there for them, what are the benefits, and, and what can it do for them. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think when you inform the, I mean, it's all about education. Uh, you know, we don't sell anything, you know, right. and, I, and, I, and I've been in the trades a long, long time. True story. Uh, yeah, long, long time. Very good. Very long good. Long time. Okay. And, and I will tell you that it's all about the the consumer being educated. Yeah. 
and, and, and knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. And it translates into dollars. And, 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 and I'm telling you, I've been looking at this thing now for a number of weeks. And, yeah, there's a lot to learn, especially people in, in our positions. Right. But, but once you decide to go through, uh, there's a lot of help uh, and there's a lot of value. Yeah. So. Yeah, and at the end of the, you know, like you say, at the end of the ten weeks, hopefully our listeners will have all this, you know, a lot more of the information um, where they can make uh, educated decisions. And Brendan, so. we've put together a ten-week plan. We have um, local experts in a variety of fields. They're going to be guests on our show every week. So we want to encourage listeners out there today to write down the number, of course, if they don't know it. Two 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 eleven eight. And uh, to call in, but we're going to be talking about uh, photovoltaic solar power. That's something very popular wind power right. very popular very controversial so mm-hmm. we might get some you know questions about that what's the controversy geothermal energy that is something i've just learned a ton about and and people kind of shy away from it i have i'll be honest and i'm in the forefront of this i love this stuff and i'm like oh my gosh that looks complicated but really once you talk to somebody who's an expert in that field and they can break it down for you in simpler terms it's like oh hello it's a no-brainer it makes sense yeah, so that's absolutely. what we hope yep. to do on this show is bring that technical high-end mm-hmm. kind of confusing stuff down to a level that everybody can understand and take away like pete was saying the knowledge and the, the power of the knowledge we're also going to have a uh a consumer they have a, a gentleman that owns a building here right in downtown that has uh been heating and cooling his building for the last uh six seven years uh through geothermal and that he retrofitted a building that was built in the 1930s, which, you know, that's really what got me awfully um, interested in doing geothermal. And I thought, you know, if a person could take a building that was built in the 30s and put geothermal in it where he heats and cools it from the energy from the ground, I've got to know more about it. And that's really what, you know, got me yeah. involved in it. You know, what I'm finding is that's one of the big misconceptions. People hear renewable energy, they think this just applies to new homes. Farthest thing from the truth. Right. Uh, uh, as a matter of fact, the big value is is in retrofitting older homes because those things are energy wasters. And and uh, if you could find a way to save a ton of money and have some government assistance that you're entitled to because it's out of taxes, right? And 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 help the earth at the same time and create a home that's more desirable and easier to sell down the road because we all know where the real estate market is, right? Right. Then then it's a win win situation everywhere everywhere you go. Uh, you, you know, I know if I put a hundred grand in the bank, I might make fifteen uh, or a thousand dollars a year in interest, maybe. Mm-hmm. Okay. I know if I take a uh, uh, ten thousand dollars and invest it into um, renewable energy. I'm going to cut them away with two or three times that money in the same amount of time. Yeah. Okay. That's a big difference. And that's just not, there's no risk. And I don't know about you guys, but I can't remember the last time my electric bill went down, the cost of electricity, the cost of gas, the cost of anything went down. I don't remember. And I've been around a while. So everything's on the way up. And here we're showing you a way to bring it down. It's a win-win situation all the way around. We'll let you have one more point if you want. Okay. Uh, no, I, I'm I'm good. You know, I, I, <laughs> Pete can go on for hours, and I know he keeps talking to me about the. Uh, you know, he's excited about this, and oh. and you know, and, and it's good. It's a really good thing, and it's it'll be good for all of our listeners to hear. So, all right, two 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 eleven eighty, the number to call if you want to join in on the conversation. Again, in studio tonight with Maurice Aubrey, the project manager, Mo, the project manager at Simply Green Energy. And also in studio with Pete Marisi with Simply Green Energy. He's the project manager who runs the green division for Mr. Ruder Plumbing. And also in studio tonight with Brenna Hartman. She is a fixie chick. And uh, did I write this down correctly? Healthy Homes of Rochester? Yes, I'm the founder of that, actually. Founder of Healthy Homes of Rochester. And again, uh, as I remember you quite fondly from your days on the home repair clinic when I was working here in the newsroom on Saturday morning. Thank you, Brandon. We do have to take a quick break, but we'll be back with more of Simply Green Radio here on News Radio 1180 WHAM.